Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I noticed in a previous video somebody had asked how the coding was going. Uh, so I thought this would probably be a good uh, opportunity to go ahead and uh, show you some of the coding that's going on. So um, right now I have this, uh, this room to this point. Now the last time you saw this room, uh, there was a foreground layer here. Okay, but it it uh, it was actually part of the background uh, layer. It was just all part of the same image. So Jack was walking right on top of it. Well, now it's actually a part of the foreground. It, it's its own uh, separate foreground object, um, which was, if you remember from the last video, uh, it draws these objects with a, an alpha channel. So um, I get that kind of nice fuzzy uh, edge rather than a hard line edge. And that makes for a really nice uh, layer. So that's great. Now, what if I want it to parallax? It's actually not that difficult. Um, so what I'm going to do to get this to parallax is this. Uh, this is a repeatedly execute function. It means every uh, frame of, of animation and the, every time we, we change frames, um, this entire function is executed. So every frame, this will... Will, will, anything I put in here will happen, will be executed. So I'm going to say uh, O foreground, which is what that object is called. Just to show you, this is uh, these are the objects in the room, and O foreground object is this this black uh, sort of foreground thing here. And I'm going to uh, change its position. Uh, every frame. Okay, so I'm let's just let's say uh, dot x is what we want. Uh, x is the horizontal position. Equals. Uh, let's start at zero, and then we're going to say minus get viewport x, and that the viewport x is the uh, x position, the horizontal position of the window we're watching the game from. Uh, oh, we need to print this here and. There we go. Now let's see what happens. We are now going to redraw that foreground object at, at zero minus the position of the window every frame. And there it goes. Look at that. Now it's uh, it's kind of hauling, hauling butt there. Uh, it's going a little fast. Um, I'd like it to be a little more subtle and a little less like uh, Sonic uh, the Hedgehog is going to come screaming and smash into me and rings are going to go flying everywhere any minute. Uh, so let's let's slow this down um, by dividing it. Okay, so let's say uh, get viewport x divided by. I happen to know that seven is where we want to be for the perfect speed for this uh, this layer, and that's actually going to allow me to see the entire layer. And this is going to have a much more subtle parallaxing. Uh, and that's what I want. I want a subtle, relaxing kind of atmosphere in this game. Uh, it, it's not an action game. Uh, I, I, I feel like if if uh, everything's flying by and whizzing by and there's a lot of action on the screen, you as the player, uh, I know I as the player, would uh, expect there to be a lot of action in the game. This is a uh, an adventure game. It's about uh, thoughtful contemplation. I want a very um, subtle but interactive environment and what's more interactive than you know as simple as as the environment moving and as you move and feeling that uh, you're in the environment not just uh, plastered over it uh, okay so there's that and there's another uh, there's actually another layer here it's called uh, O sun rays O being object uh, so let's let's look at that O sun rays oops Sun rays dot x equals zero minus, and then we'll do get viewport x, and then divide it. Let's do half the speed, so divided by fourteen. So this is going to be uh, a little bit more subtle. The idea being that the foreground foliage here is closer. The sun rays are falling somewhere in the middle. So, so the, the, the foliage is down here, the sun rays are, are falling around here, and then the background is, of course, back there. So we get kind of a, a very subtle, you have to kind of watch the sun rays to watch them move, but it's a very subtle 
you know, feeling that uh, that these things are all that there's, there's some three dimensionality here. That there's that these things are all in layers, and and there's dimension in this. Okay, so there's that, and uh, I also don't. I don't know if you noticed. I don't want uh, the name sun rays and view uh, foreground to be popping up every time you move the cursor with those things because they shouldn't be clickable. So let's let's change that. Um, o foreground. dot clickable equals false and o sun rays dot clickable equals false okay and now we can move our mouse all over the place and we're not going to see any you know, we see Jack, but we don't see this stuff. This stuff is not clickable, and that's what we want. I've also taken it upon myself to drop a bunch of of uh, little specks and and bits of fuzz and dust in here to to come floating downwards. That uh, which I, I think will give the the uh, the game some some uh, some extra life. So, um, in order to make that those uh, animate, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the global scripts, and I'm going to make a new script here in the global scripts, and I'm going to call it function. Let's call it float down, and I'm going to. I, I want to have some variables here, so I want uh, I want to pass some 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 things to this. So one will be the object. What object am I floating downwards? Okay, uh, we'll call it my. And then an integer for speed. How fast is it floating? And then when it floats all the way down, I need to be able to reset it uh, somewhere on the screen so that it just randomizes and constantly come, keeps coming down from uh, from somewhere. Uh, in order to do that, I need to know the screen, the, the width of that particular room, because uh, every room is going to be a, a different width. So uh, room width, um, yeah. Okay, so there's my function, and uh, let's see, that was messy. Okay, so function. Um, what do I want to do here? I want to, to okay, so if I'm going to float it down, uh, I say if my, meaning that that's the, the, the object, my dot y is less than 768, okay, then I'm going to say my dot x plus equals, so we're going to add uh, random speed okay so I'm going to add uh, to the X and I'm going to do the same for the Y at the rate of whatever the speed of this particular object that I've, I've created I've instantiated um, is if I uh, that's if it's less than, than than 768 if it has fallen all the way um, down and has has exceeded 768 which is the height of the screen, uh, then I'm going to say else, not then, else, else. Um, well, we want to say my.x equals uh, random room width. Okay, so we're going to, we're going to put the, put it, reset the x to somewhere within the boundaries of that room. And the the uh, y or the y will be seven sixty eight because we want it to uh, or no I'm sorry I'm thinking of uh, floating upwards so one so we want to start it right back at the top of the screen and there we go okay so that's yeah this this should work float down okay now what we need to do I'm going to copy this whole line. Okay, and I'm going to go into room two here, and then right at the top, I'm going to import this function by typing import, and then you tip 
in this line here. And uh, now let's uh, let's give it a shot. Okay. Oh, look at that. A little fuzz floating downward. And it's kind of kind of kind of a little herky jerky, which is the the randomization there. Okay, that's looking good. So now what I need to do is I just need to float down a whole bunch more objects right here. Uh, I've already gotten through a bunch of that, so I'm going to go ahead and just paste in some lines here from uh, from earlier. And there they are. Oops. So that's gonna that's gonna animate all my my little wisps the way I want them oops and uh, also going to go ahead and make all those little fuzz objects uh, not clickable by pasting same code dot clickable equals false turn that off and now let's see what this room looks like now that all of the fuzz objects are animated Okay, there's one, there's one, there's one. These are all just little little bits of detail. There's one right there. Little bits bits of detail floating down and kind of covering the screen with movement, filling the filling the area with movement and uh, making the screen feel just a little bit more alive. So so there we go. Um, I have now uh, introduced some parallax scrolling into into the scene uh, with some some subtle uh, layers here, and I have introduced little floaty bits of uh, fuzz coming down from the trees, and that kind of makes the scene feel more alive. There's another one, um, bunch of them. So uh, yeah, liking that, like the way that feels. Um, this this screen for me is starting to come alive. This room is is starting to feel more alive, and uh, pretty soon I can start implementing puzzles. Um, and uh, by the way, I don't I don't really recall if I got to show off any of this stuff, but here's the uh, some animating water here, just kind of gently sort of bloop, bloop, bloop in the background there. Um, I've been experimenting around with. With that, and, and now that that's uh, that last scene didn't actually have the foreground uh, yet, so that kind of gives you an idea. That last scene was very raw, still uh, missing some layers. Um, the the back, even the background image wasn't the final version. This is a much more um, f clean and and polished uh, area here with all the different layers implemented and uh, a lot more touch up that's gone into it. Um, However, while I get across that gorge, uh, so yep. All right, guys. Well, um, when I have more to show, there will be another uh, video, and I hope you guys are uh, enjoying watching the game come together. It's really starting to get to the point now where you can kind of see some gameplay and see the scenes come together. Like I said, I don't want to show you too many of this of the rooms at this point because they're it's getting to to where I'm I'm going to be giving away. Uh, probably too much of the game but uh, but yeah it's uh, it's starting to come together um, and I'm, I'm closer to getting to the point where I'm kind of gonna be able to put a pin in the uh, uh, graphics and uh, for now and the background graphics and start uh, working in more logic puzzles and getting into the coding aspects of it uh, all right guys well um, thanks and uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click like and all that good stuff and um, I will uh, talk to you guys soon. Thanks.